Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the whatever this is called. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about difficulty target, uh, difficulty retargeting, um, and how that's calculated in uh, Bitcoin. And uh, this concept can be also applied to pretty much any cryptocurrency that uses proof of work as its uh, consensus algorithm. So people often would talk about uh, the difficulty target and the difficulty retargeting uh, algorithm in uh, Bitcoin. And, you know, I always wondered what exactly that meant. I knew it had something to do with mining, but I decided to, uh, to do a bit of research and make this video. So just as a, a bit of background, the way Bitcoin works is that a new block uh, is added to the uh, Bitcoin blockchain about every 10 minutes. Um, and by block, I mean another set of transactions. Uh, and that block is added to the blockchain, which is the ledger of all the transactions that occurred in Bitcoin. But where does this 10 minute number come from? It's not like there's some guy sitting in a room with a stopwatch and adding another block to the blockchain every 10 minutes. It's not how it works at all. So basically what's actually happening is there are Bitcoin mining rigs that are solving this cryptographic puzzle and when they solve it they get to be the ones to add another block to the blockchain and they get to claim the reward for finding that. And this cryptographic puzzle on average takes about 10 minutes. But this 10 minute number it's totally an inexact science and in fact for a long time it's been closer to about nine and a half minutes rather than 10 minutes and it also varies based off of how much computing power is being dedicated to solving this cryptographic puzzle so if there's a lot of computers working towards uh, mining bitcoins then it'll take less than 10 minutes if there are fewer than normal computers attempting to mine Bitcoin, then it'll take more than 10 minutes. One of these miners could just get extraordinarily lucky and solve the puzzle within a minute or 30 seconds or two seconds. Um, there's nothing stopping that from happening other than probability. Um, like I said, the 10 minute block time is an average block time. A lot of times you'll have a block that gets discovered after five minutes. You might have one that gets discovered after 15 minutes. It's not uh, perfectly exact, and that's why it's an average block time. Over a large enough number of blocks, it averages out to being 10 minutes. So the question becomes, how is this 10 minutes in between blocks, uh, aka the block time, how is that uh, maintained? How does it stay as 10 minutes? Because all the time, more and more processing power is being dedicated to uh, Bitcoin mining. So you would think that it would just constantly shrink the block time until blocks were being discovered, you know, every few seconds. Well, the answer to that question is the difficulty retargeting that the Bitcoin protocol goes through. So in every single Bitcoin block, there's a value known as the difficulty. This value determines how difficult the uh, cryptographic puzzle that's being solved is. and the more difficult it is, the more processing power it'll take to solve within a reasonable amount of time, aka 10 minutes. This value can be represented as a uh, decimal value like this, or a hexadecimal uh, value like this. I have another video where it goes into a lot more detail about how exactly this cryptographic puzzle works, so you can watch that. Link is in the description. So what the Bitcoin protocol does is Every 2016 blocks, or roughly two weeks, the Bitcoin protocol uh, looks at the timestamps for all of those 2016 previous blocks and uh, determines whether or not it took longer than two weeks or shorter than two weeks. If it took longer than two weeks for those 2016 blocks to get mined, um, the protocol will lower the difficulty, thus making the puzzle easier to solve and making it so it happens quicker. If it took less than two weeks to mine those 2016 blocks, 
it will make the difficulty target higher and thus making the cryptographic puzzle more difficult and so it'll take longer for the miners to uh, mine the Bitcoin. These calculations take uh, place across all the nodes on the Bitcoin network and every node would come to the same conclusion because they all have the same previous 2016 blocks and if they don't Bitcoin is forked. So here's roughly the formula that the Bitcoin protocol uses to determine what uh, the new difficulty should be. So basically it's taking the old difficulty um, and multiplying it by uh, 20,160 uh, minutes, which is two weeks, divided by the amount of time the last 2016 blocks took to mine. So we can pretty clearly see that if it took less than two weeks uh, for the last 2016 blocks to get mined, this will result uh, a number larger than one and by extension raise the difficulty value and make it more difficult for the miners to solve the cryptographic puzzle and thus maintaining the uh, 10 minute block time. And what we can see is that without this difficulty retargeting and this, uh, this adjustment then the block time would just get shorter and shorter as more and more miners joined the network and more and more computing power was put towards mining Bitcoin, uh, the puzzle will just get solved quicker and quicker. Now there is a limit to how much the difficulty can uh, go up and down uh, when this difficulty retargeting occurs. Um, it can't uh, go up by more than a factor of four and it can't go down by more than 25%. So I think that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I, I always appreciate your viewership. I always appreciate your comments. Um, have a wonderful rest of the whatever and keep on doing good. <laughs>